Hello, we are back with another episode of Charlotte on the Scene. This is your man, Ra, and I'm here with my man, my man, my man, what? Come on, man, you know what's happening. Ah, my bad, my, my bad. Anthony hey, Mo. Morrow in the building, West Boulevard, oh. Charlotte, North Carolina. Native. Bang, bang, oh, bang. Guy. Charlotte on the scene. <laughs> You already yeah, we know out. what time it is. What's going on, baby? How you doing, son? I can't call it, brother. Back you up, know? up, back up in here. Staying at the working. You know a lot of things is. been going on. A lot of things been going on. A lot on, of bro. things been going on in Charlotte, man, around the surrounding areas and everything else, man. You know, but um, it's a blessing to be back up here. Uh, shout out to my man, my cousin, my cousin, my cousin L. Uh, not here, but here in spirit, and we're gonna have a great show for him. Shout out to L. Uh yeah man so what's going on how you been man How's everything going man it's the last time I talked to you great man I seen you man you on vacation oh, you know yeah, everybody yeah, looking good man y'all yeah, out there tanning and in the, in the yeah. you know what I'm saying it's jet lagging a little bit son. yeah jet lagging a little good. bit it's all good yeah, well bro. you know you know I caught I caught the, I caught that cheek one on a legion yeah, yeah. on a legion <laughs> hey, <laughs> legion I love hey bro I got a legion so. I saw I said man Ry always like when he on the move it's a different kind of situation it's like when the guy see other guys doing, hey, man, yeah. we gotta, got, we gotta get out of here. We gotta, gotta go. Do something. We gotta, gotta go. go do something, bro. Gotta it's go. Summertime. You know, we work hard. Gotta right? go. So it's like we gotta go get it. You gotta you know take care I mean? of yourself, but you gotta have that time to to put that space and give you a mental a break. Absolutely. If you, if you if you always tapped in, especially with these phones we got now and everything, if you always tapped in, you got no time to give yourself room to even figure out what you're trying to do or what you want to do in the future or what. You know, or map things out. You're just busy in the moment. You know what I'm saying? So, a lot of stuff be going on, man. You got you got you got to give your mind a mental break, and you got to get away. And you can't be around the same thing over and over again every no. day, every day. You know what I'm saying? Because so, you're gonna have to do that anyway. Yep. So right. that release, like pause, that like separation right. from everything you have to do day by day, because we build brick by brick every day. Yep. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Kids, mm. family, everything like that. Community, everything. You have to have some type of like separation from that, at least for like two or three days. That's so real. I, hey, it was dope to see y'all. Ah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we was in we was in Miami uh, for race week, race week weekend. Just got back. It was bananas. Shout out to Kiki on the river. Shout out to Queen. Uh, shout out to 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 um to a goodie, the Good Time Hotel. Shout out to Fountain Blue. Shout out to Live. Shout out to oh my gosh, it was just I had I did Dre's? um huh yeah did y'all go to Dre's down there? we didn't go to Dre's we didn't go to we didn't hit Dre's man boy, we hit that strawberry in the moon uh 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 daytime party oh my god DJ oh my god it was crazy man now, Miami's not the same like I remember when I was young I used to go to the Clevelander and Fat Tuesdays yep, yep. that's them days are done man like it's a different Miami and I, and I maybe I'm late I don't know I ain't been there in nine years yeah. so I used to go that because like New York that's like for us. That's like going to another country for us. Like we, like we, we like it's like somebody talking about they go to Europe. Like yo, we going to Miami. <laughs> you know what I'm right. saying? That, that, that's how Miami. You know that's what I mean? how it was. That's, that's, that's how Europe. <laughs> yeah. Last time I was in Miami, went to the Cleveland. They was filming the ESPN sports show. Okay. Okay. I was getting lunch up there. I had my pops, everybody, but we ain't been back. Pops got COVID. Pops shook back because he a gangster. Shout right. Right. Papa Larry. Shout out to pops. Yeah, but um, yeah, all the guys. But it was it was a. Uh, we went to the Cleveland. Day. That was my first time being there. That's what's up, man. I go to Miami. I used to go to Miami, like every twice, two, three times every summer. Yep, yep. But um, love Miami, man. Yeah, shout, cool. shout, shout, shout out to Miami, M I A O, man. But let's, Guys. but let's let's get into it, man. So we had a, a tragedy that happened in Charlotte. You know, we had four cops uh, get get uh, uh, that that were slain. Um, wanted to give my condolences to the families, and um, also wanted to. Uh, Give my condolences to um, uh, CMPD officers that that um, lost their brothers, and you know we, you know we 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 love our law enforcement. You know we support law enforcement, and, and you know and um, you know over the years, you know you have a lot of things that go on between African Americans, minorities, and law enforcement. But you have to, you know, and, and a lot of the cultures. But to me, you know, you still have to support law, and I right. love CPMD. You know they're they're here for us to protect us, and when when a maniac comes and shoots kills four of our great Police officers, we gotta address it because that's not that's not that's not the type of time that 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 I, that I like that, that I like to hear about or want to be on. So, um, you know, I just definitely want to give a shout out to those officers and their families, and definitely support uh, to all law to all officers of the law out there that risk their lives every day 
to make sure that we have, you know, liberties and to make sure that our, our children, our families are safe. So I know you a native, man. How you feel about it, man? That was rough, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Um, I was out of town at the time. And then, um, you know, I was with my pops at the time. And uh, we saw it. And um, I'm gonna I'm shout their names out, bro. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because, of course, like, I've been violated by the police before. Yes, Not yes. Not just in Charlotte. Yeah. In LA, Oakland, wherever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Atlanta, whatever, Charlotte. Mm -hmm. But I've always been an advocate of, we love the good police. Yeah. And we don't mess with the bad police. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It's yep. every it's bad people in every walk of life. Every of sector. Anything. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, any business, you know. So I'm gonna shout them out, you know, um, Sam Pelochi, I I pray I'm saying his name, his last mm -hmm. name right, Alden Elliott. Mm -hmm. Um, fourteen years on the task force, left behind wives and children. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They look younger guys. Um and then the marshal, U.S. Marshal Thomas Weeks. Mm -hmm. When the U.S. Marshal go down, bro, in our city, bro, that's, mm -hmm. that's a different kind of situation, brother. You sure. know what I'm saying? And um, it's, uh, I don't have everybody's name, but at the same time, Ayers is the last one. Mm -hmm. But um, excuse me for that, but, you know, losing those four like that, that don't happen in Charlotte broad daylight. Yeah. So it's really got to put, like, um, in my opinion, we really have to put a spotlight. Josh Ayer, excuse me. That's mm -hmm. his, that's, that's the, that's Josh Ayer is his name? Josh Ayer, yeah. Okay. And um, he was a six-year vet. Mm. You know, he was a young one. Mm. You know, and, and excuse me for, you know, miss, miss, missing that one. Mm -hmm. But, you know, all four of those, like, they're all in our hearts. You know, yes. Our prayers, you feel me? Because... Um, you know, that don't happen like that here. No, no, no. That was no. different for me. I'm born and raised in my whole life, bro. Mm -hmm. The U.S. Marshal get gunned down on a standoff it's type situation. It's freaking insane, man. Yeah, it was crazy, insane. bro. So, like, you know, when you get your great uncles and them telling you, like, do you see what just happened? Mm -hmm. Yes. You can feel it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But the thing is, I want to talk about it because the younger generation need to feel that. Well, So that they don't let this happen again. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And also God bless them and God bless the families. Shout out to um the Chief, shout out to um Gary McFadden, everybody in Mayor the, V Lyles. law enforcement. Yep. Mayor, Mayor V Lyles, of course, Mama Lyles. You know, I yep. call you Mama Lyles. Yep. Shout out to everybody who was front line with everything. Yeah. Um, Greg Jackson, all the people, man. We gotta still stand together because it's more good than it is bad, but we gotta stand down on that. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, you know, definitely, um, you know, um, just definitely want to uh, acknowledge that and um, not to be on a somber mood, but like, you know, definitely, you know, it's important. To, it's a, 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 a national thing to happen. It's national news. And also we, uh, you know, a lot of gun, it's gun violence. Charlotte is like really increasing in gun violence. Um, the last couple of, uh, I think last year has been, you know, a lot of violence in the city and not to put a bad light on it, you know, um, but, um, you know, I moved to the city because it was it's a beautiful city, still is. Um, but like, you know, you guys that are doing that stuff, just take it somewhere else, man. Like, you know what I mean? Because we have children. We want to be able to go uptown and enjoy time in Romare, Bearden Park, Freedom Park. You know, like, this is not the city for the violence, you know. We're, we're, we're here to, uh, to, ha to raise our kids and our families in a nice environment. People that come out of town, we want them to experience a nice situation and even move here because it helps the economy. That's why you have all these skyscrapers going up in the city. So, you know, um, not to get too, you know, on a political harp or whatever, but just, you know, let's, let's, let's be more, let's pay more attention to the city and, and, and you know, and, um, and definitely uh, let's stop this violence that's going on, man. We don't, we don't want it to, you know, get worse than what it is. Not saying it's tops in the U.S., but, you know, it's just, we don't want it even to even, even get there. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I definitely wanted to touch on that. Um, you being from West Charlotte, you know, you, um, um, you've seen the city grow in different ways. Um, and, and you do a lot of charities, do Anthony Morrow charities or whatever. Um, and, and you take care, you, you help with families. And you also uh, uh, um, take uh, young, young uh, aspiring basketball players, help them with their skills and things like that or whatever. What's your message for the city? 
as far as that, as that is concerned? Bro, honestly, um, I'll tell you, who are your influences? Like, who influences you? Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, oh, so, like, what is influencing you? Because as much as I'm around kids, bro, the more I realize it's more about the music or social media. Mm. It ain't TV no more. People don't even have TV no more. No, they don't. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's more music and it's social media based, influenced. So who are you following? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, do you do you necessarily like feel like you're a leader? Because you gotta think, like, we got Instagram was 2012, 13. Mm -hmm. And that's when you could be a follower of somebody. Right, right, right. And I know people done say this, bro. I'm not trying to, you know what I'm saying? I'm, no. not, I'm not trying to, you know what I mean? But yeah. it, it's real shit. Yeah. So it's like you were you were a follower from then. We yeah. this started when I was 23, 25 right. years old. Right. So now it's like you come in the world mm -hmm. as a follower. Mm -hmm. You don't know how to lead nothing. Yeah, yeah. So like some of these people you see that's really like influential and influencers yeah. or whatever they call yeah. that shit, they are that, but they had to follow somebody to get there. Mm, okay. How you gonna carve out your own destiny anyway? That's the problem. Like with my kids, all four of my children, I have to let them know, listen, you have to be your own self. Who are you? No, like you. When you wake up, look in the morning, brush your teeth, wash your face. Who are you? Yeah. It's not going to be the dude you're going to look up or the girl you're going to look up and see. You feel me? Yeah. Oh, that's what they doing today? No, you already that person. But see, you know, when we were younger. You feel what I'm saying, though? No, nah, you're right. Like, when we were younger, my mom used to always tell me, like, I'd be like, yo, i get in trouble. And she'd be like, well, so, I'd be like, yo, so-and-so did it. My mom would always say, well, if you if they jump the Empire State Building, you're gonna go jump with them. Exactly. And uh, you know what I'm saying? And it's it's I think of, you just you just you just really cooked on something. You're cooking right now. You're cooking, Ant, because the it's word true. follower, that's it's literally on it's the on, app. It's on the app. You're a follower and you and, and you are following. Yeah. <sighs> it's right there. Cooking, son. You're I cooking talk right look, bro. I remember I remember, bro, I remember feeling like this one time. I'm going to give you a quick little story. I remember it was like 2012. I was playing for the New Jersey Nets. Shout out to New Jersey. Auntie. <laughs> and um, Jersey. I missed the, I, I didn't, I didn't get into the three-point contest that year. Right. And I was, shoot, I was like third. It was like me, Steph, Clay. It was like that. I was like, why well, I ain't getting in? They put all these, it was politics. Mm -hmm. I mean, NBA school. You know, if you're young, you don't so, so, hold up. So, there's an actual, actual, so a lot of people submit themselves for it, and some some just don't get no, in? No, bro. They just put who they want in there. Oh, wow. I'm going to tell another story. I, I ain't going to tell you. We'll get into this. All story. right. But <laughs> this story right here is like real shit. Like, so, like, I remember, like, I was like, damn, it's politics. I was on Twitter. Right. I was like, politics, man. They ain't put me in. I was upset. Right. People, whatever. Put it on Instagram. But Twitter was bigger then. Okay. And I remember, like, I put my phone down. I went and got something to eat or something. Took a shower. I don't know what. I, I just a shower. Came back to my phone and bro, the list of people that was trolling me was like this. Mm. And I was like, oh, I see what this social media shit finna talk. Yeah, yeah. And now it's like the organizations have they have to acknowledge yeah, yeah. social media. Yeah, yeah. And it's 2024, bro. This is 2012, 13. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, okay. How many of these people that they're drafting or social media um, in the organizations are going to be able to deal with that? Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Because emotionally, everybody ain't the same. Like, I was cool with it, but mm -hmm. I was like, I, and then it got to the point where it's like, I could say some crazy shit back mm -hmm. to a mm -hmm. troller, mm -hmm. what they call troll now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't a troller, then it was just somebody talking shit. They didn't care until you start getting into some political religion right. shit with people. And I never did that, but they would come at us. I'm like, yo, he said this. I ain't saying that. I said something back. I get fined ten thousand. Mm. They not getting fined. They they behind the camera. They, you don't even see his face. So when that started happening, right. I was like, all right, I see what it's gonna be. Where it's in the gonna future. be. Where it's going. Yeah, but the the kids now, I give them credit. This in professional sports, and I'm gonna tell y'all, and college, mm -hmm. high school now. 
right. middle school kind of too. Right. Trainers, anything, coaches. Now it's like you able to gauge and manip and um navigate through that shit and make sure the kid gets to his best um opportunity and the coaches get to the best opportunity they can get to. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up, man. It's real, bro. Yeah, that's real. That's crazy. I ain't know it was like that. Hell no, nah, it's deep, boy. They folks talking about ten, fifteen thousand dollars because you said something back to him. That's insane. It's real, bro. Yeah, I, mean, I ain't got fifty. I might wear fifteen thousand, fifteen in my pocket. But anyway, that's crazy. <laughs> you just a troll, but they ain't paying you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so we talk about these playoffs. Yo, first of all, you talk. So we go get the basketball. Talk about these playoffs. Let's give a shout out to my New York Knicks, who are officially out of the first round. We whooped on that ass on Phillies. At whooped on that ass, even even though Maxi. Walked and got the got the three pointer with the with the, uh, on a, on a, on Robinson when he shouldn't have got it and they found out after the game was over we still came back and bust their ass so I just want to give a shout out to my Knicks and we also beat the Pacers in the first game too so we won and oh right now yeah, beat the Pacers the so we won and oh yeah you got to gain the background you ain't supposed to know that though yeah I mean we won and oh so I want I want yo New York is back so I want to tell y'all that. So everybody in the university area, oh my all, you, God, all you New Yorkers wearing Timberlands, all you guys still wearing Sherlins and se- yo, all, yo, I, I want, I'm talking to the old head New York, New York cats that still wear Tims, that still, that still, that still call them butters, that still put they, they jeans over the tongue, that still gotta walk pigeon toe when they know when they, when they know they had corrective shoes when they were younger. <laughs> Bro, I'm talking. I'm talking to those New Yorkers, B. I'm talking to. I'm talking to. I'm talking to my Black Just, my Alpo. I'm talking. I'm talking to my Pete, my, my Pee Wee Kirklands. I'm talking to War Four Fifth in Harlem, One Twenty Fifth, Brooklyn, Canarsie. The Knicks are back, baby. Shout to Southside Queens, man. Shout, shout, yo. The Knicks are back, son, and we got this, and we going, and we're, and we're gonna see Boston. We're gonna see Boston now. Skip. Wow. You want to say? You want to say anything about it? No, I'm listening. Oh, okay. I, I, I was about. To, I was about to just. I was gonna double down on that. Okay, oh. okay, okay. Double down. No, go ahead. No, you finish. What you yo, saying? yo. So, uh, yo, <laughs> yo, yo, yo. First down, double, triple down, gooses. You know what I'm saying? The, the the Scully hats. Yo, New York. Chopped cheese. Chopped cheese. Shout out my, you know my Harlem family. Cheese. I'm I'm giving them my Harlem and my Brooklyn family. Chopped cheese. New York. Knickerbockers, man. I don't even know what Knickerbocker is. I actually do, but half of y'all you know Knicks fans, is. half of Knicks fans don't even know what Knickerbockers is, though. But that's another story, though. But hey, man, I ain't gonna do y'all like that. Do your knowledge, <laughs> know what Knickerbocker is. Do your research do on what a Knick. Do your research on what a Knickerbocker is. Do your research. Is. And shout out to all the old school Nick players that have been at all the games. John Starks, Patrick Ewing, uh, 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 Carmelo ain't old school. But I'm talking Mello, about uh, he matters. But he matters. Shout though. out Melo. He that. matters. But all the Knicks that that that, that, that had to go that, that that kept getting beat up by Michael Jordan all them years, like all my Knicks, and we finally made it to the finals and lost to Oak Houston. Been up there. Oak, Oak been up there. Man, Oak man, yo, Charles Oak. Shout out yeah. to Oak. Shout out to three. Oak. Son. Oak. Shout out to dog. Oak. Big Oak is man, yo, all my all my Knicks. Charles Smith, even though you missed those damn layups and dunks. And I hated you for so long. I love you because we all back and y'all all support the Knicks. That's what I love about New York. And we was in Philly showing. You saw them in Philly? They had we, to buy. We, they, we out did Philly and they had to buy seats for the next they game. They had to buy $2,000 like $2, worth of ticket, tickets so the Knicks fans could come. So we couldn't come in here, son. I'm going to give my stadium. take on the Knicks because I got to do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> do it. Do it. Hold on. Talk to me. Talk, talk to me nice. Talk to me nice. I'm a chill, bro. I'm cool. But I ain't got no dog in no fight. (laughs) Well, actually, I do, because you know OKC is my heart. Okay. Oklahoma City Thunder. Shout out to the great young team. Shout out to the Thunder. Great young team. You know what time that is with me. Mm -hmm. We talk about it all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give my I'm gonna give you. And I talked to my boy, I talked to my boy Vaughn. We know Vaughn. Oh yeah, Vaughn. Shout out to Vaughn, man. Shout out to Vaughn, man. Shout out to Vaughn, man. Yo, Vaughn, my, Vaughn from Vaughn from left that's rack. My fucking brother. Left, left rack, rack left never rack left back, back man. Yeah. My homie. He definitely ain't never left back. I don't care where he at. Yeah. Shout now, out you to gonna Vaughn. hear his voice wherever he at. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All that crazy shit. But I went up to him. Look, this how crazy it is. We at the spot. I go over there and say, man, I'm rooting for y'all. Yeah. It was like three minutes left in the game. Yeah. This is game seven, uh-huh. last uh, first round. Uh-huh. 
He said, yeah, man, that's cool, man. I love you. But go back over there, bro. <laughs> Don't come over here right that's now. Boy, I don't that's want to change the energy. That's You know how it is, bro. Hey, look. But I'm going to be on here. I get bored on here. No, Vaughn, I'm going to come on here. Yeah, Vaughn, come on here. Your boss, Vaughn, yo. Yo, Vaughn, yo, Vaughn, Vaughn got that voice. Yeah, because you will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vaughn is a real one. I love Vaughn, man. Love you to death, baby. But look, so. I'm gonna give the Knicks and all the homies mm. all their flowers right mm. now. No doubt, no doubt. Round. Y'all won game one against how, Indiana. How we did pay the full? And how we did? <laughs> I got. There you go. That's how <laughs> I know Rock can't hoop. <laughs> I got. I got articles in high school, son. Heistown, oh, Heistown, know me, son. Whatever. We, hey, ones. Check huh? ball. Check ball after this. You said what? Check ball after this. One on one. It's a court over there. Oh, you? You want to get it in? We will get it Playing in one day. Around, we'll man. get it in one day. Yo, I'll shock you. Um, I, ain't, I ain't gonna beat you. I mean, you, you no, a top ten athlete, but like, they, you told know me, they told me you can play. I can, I can I do a little something. Uh, uh, I ain't gonna beat you. I ain't you doing know. that. If I do, I'm gonna brag for you. No, years. I'm gonna get. Let me give your <laughs> Knicks y'all credit, bro. Jalen Brunson. I saw an article. She said the king of New York. I said that's correct. His dad, Rick Brunson. Mm-hmm. I was in Minnesota at the camp. His dad was the assistant coach for the Timberwolves. Okay. So when I got to really know him, I was like, yeah, your son, going, he, he going to Villanova. Mm-hmm. And then watching his career there and then seeing what he's doing now with the Knicks. Mm-hmm. After going to Dallas, mm-hmm. I'm like, bro, and y'all got a Villanova team, Josh Hart. Yeah, we got the, we got the whole Jaylen, Villanova team. Yep. DiVincenzo, yep. all that. I'm like, bro, that's exactly what New York is. Yep. Like them them years back then with like John Starks and Oak and mm-hmm. God rest the bad big homie. Anthony Mason. Anthony Mason, man. Pat Ewing. Oh, man. Those guys, it was Charles Smith. You know, he made some layers, bro. Charles, now, I love Charles Smith, man. I just I do getting love, on, getting you on love him. You gotta love him. I was getting on that Shit, show, that right? was just inch, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? That was my childhood, though. Yeah, I have the thing. Yeah, it, it was there. Yeah, he you fucked, know, he fucked me up for a whole year, so I had to get Yeah, it, it's yeah, more I can't name it. Greg Anthony was yeah. around doing that Greg, time. Greg was at the Hoopty Tournament. I met Greg at the Hoopty Tournament down here in Charlotte. Greg But y'all deserve that. I always say, I'm gonna say this so everybody see it. Yeah. When the New York Knicks are winning, the NBA Wins. in the country is better. We're the number one team, baby. Just like number the Lakers, team, right? just like the huh? Bulls when they huh? get back, you know. Yep. The Celtics are yep. that's good. Yep. For the league. It's, it's good, good for the, for the league. team, it's good for the community, it's good for the league. Point. It's good for their stars. Yeah. But more importantly, so Jalen Brunson, I love seeing what he's doing, bro. Yo, and you know what? Let me tell you something, man. There's I, I got a clip that I put on Instagram where they said that was the that he that that was the worst money we ever gave out to anybody. Who said that? Everybody. Stephen A. All the guys said that. I got a clip. I'm gonna show it to you. I put it. I put it. I put it up on my Instagram. Bro, Yo, Jalen Brunson has proven he one of them guys. He one of them guys, bro. He like one he of them not guys. like. He I'm like not that. thinking like I want an endorsement. Like that's gonna come to me. Like the guys that's like him, they think like I'm finna just go show. And then all of that other shit is icing on the cake. I, talk to me. The sure. cake is me going into the gym every day, putting that work up. Yo, that when brother. he posted that video of his daddy working him out, going up and down outside on the outside court, and and Rick in the background, yeah, go do that. Yeah, do it. Yeah, pick it up. Like that's inspirational. That's not yeah. like commercial shit. Yeah, that's real. Yeah. That's he real. ain't want to even do it. He had to look on his face like. And now he appreciates. Yeah, yeah. You win a championship. Mm-hmm. The Knicks, I got him. I said, look, you know how good it'd be for New York and the NBA and the country if the Knicks get to the finals. That'd be crazy. I don't think y'all can get there. Yeah. I don't know if y'all can get past Boston. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I love y'all. Gotta crawl before you walk. Yeah. I right, look, 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 look. They yeah. need one more star, though. Yeah, they need they one, one more star. star it's lit. Yeah. And I, I don't think- know who they're gonna get. Like, if they find a way to get, and I don't know if this is gonna work, but. Honestly, if they find a way to get like, it's a stretch, but it's the only way I feel like it's going to work. Right. If they find a way to get KD or some shit like that. Yeah. If they get Kevin Durant without, you could give up some of them guys because KD played defense. Right. Because of his length. Right. Pause in his But I, would, I, I need those two those two guys, Robinson and... Um, and no, you, you keep Robinson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I need you to might trade Julius Randle or something like that, but you get yeah. Kev over there with them. And you ain't got to trade the core. Cause Kev go anyway. Plug. You that's go. what. That's what we messed up with Carmelo because we trade the whole core. Yeah, he Carmelo. didn't have nobody. He had yeah. to go get an older Amari yeah. Stoudemire. Yeah, because they were they were, still because with Amari, when they had Amari Chandler and them, yeah. they was balling. Raymond Felton, they was balling. 
to try it to make bowling. that work. Yeah. I had to play against him. It was crazy. Yeah. I was in Jersey though. You said you said but, Jersey? Yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, it was tough. But I mean, in the long run, because mm -hmm. they Amari was, you know, his, his knees and stuff was breaking down, but he was yeah. like, bro, Amari was crazy. Amari was a problem, son. Boy. Amari was a problem, son. I swear to God, bro. Goggles, I call him, call him goggles, son. Goggles. Goggles, B. Remember, remember, remember? remember. Well, them boys, man, he was tough, bro. Yo, so, all right, so let's, let's get, get into the real talk of the week, man. Drake and Kendrick, man. Before um, we go there. Okay. Ant-Man, face of the league. We had to go there. Ant Anthony man. Edwards. Oh, Anthony Edwards. Oh, oh, my bad. Let's get back on. Oh, my bad. You right. She right. going right. in it? I shifted. Auntie I shifted. I shifted. Hold on. Hold on. Always so, so I've been hearing talk. I've been hearing this talk about Anthony Edwards right now. Watch Anthony Edwards. He's a problem. They're not talking about, about him. That? How you feel but they about trying that? to say a lot of people trying to say he's the next Mike. I don't like that. Let him be the next Anthony. I need to hear that from you. Don't don't let him be next. No, there's never gonna be another Mike. But they, just like just, just like there will never be another another Kobe or another LeBron. Let him be Anthony Edwards. Let him. But don't put that pressure on him yet. Let him get into what he's going to get into. But I hate when people do that. Like it's like I'm here in talk right now. He's just like George. It's like listen, man. Jordan came into the league at a different time, a, a different era, different players, different rules. We got to stop doing that. Stop, stop. Why we got to be a comparison, people? Let an imitation. Anthony Edwards is a problem. Hello. Houston, we have a problem. He is a problem. He is a game changer. And let's let's make that clear. He's a problem, bro. Yeah. The, 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 the athletic ability... The uh, the 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 closer in him, I mean, he got the package, bro. Yeah, Pause. Right. You know what I'm Pause. saying? Pause. <laughs> Pause. Yeah, no Pause. <laughs> he got to relax. From New York, bro. He got to relax. <laughs> From New York. <laughs> nah, I, I had to catch myself. No, you. Were, hey, look, I I do I do agree to you. I mean, I agree with you to a certain degree, but I will tell you. Um, Watching Mike since I was like a baby, uh, basically. I was born in 1985. I came to Lee, eight four. Yeah. So yeah. I didn't really get the essence of Mike Pauls till I was like, he was like 92. 92, like seven yeah. Seven years old or something. Yeah. You would see him, you know what I mean, leaning. Like you had to just see it. You had to be yeah. there to see it. Like, there ain't no comparison. That's my yeah. favorite player ever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm going to keep it a beam with you. As much as them comparisons with Kobe and Mike was more when Kobe, I mean, uh, when Mike got older. Mm -hmm. And Kobe was working on the moves, like when Mike mm -hmm. got into his like real skill band. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Anthony Edwards, right now, at 22 years old, he's 88 Mike. He's 88 Michael Jordan, bro. Before so the title. Now, how tall is Anthony Edwards? He's 6'5, 6'6. Six, 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 okay. He like Mike size. Yeah, Mike's 6'7. Mike's 6'7. He more yeah. stockier than Mike. Mike was strong, but he was like more like a lean. Yeah, a lean. Strong. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Ant Man, like stocky strong. Yeah. But he got that, like, he got that clutch gear that Mike had. Like, you you don't know when he going to turn it on. Well, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I uh, think. He get to his spots, and then he, he already working on the skit. He, the boy ain't nowhere near. His like prime time, but it seemed like it seemed like you know what? So it's funny. Swear to God, bro. Yo, the league is like social media because y'all talking about Anthony Edwards, but last year y'all was saying the, the dude that had the ability was Ja Morant. Ja like that too. Yeah, but he just got in trouble and he got hurt. Yeah. Ja is like that. Okay, like they like who we gonna compare him to? I'm like, bro, stop comparing. He's a more out. He's because I don't look at just, like I'm gonna break this down. Bro. Mm -hmm. So like when they saying and comparing. Ant Man to Mike. I'm like, he's 88 Mike. Mm -hmm. He's marketable. Mm -hmm. He's great with the media. Okay. He says some crazy stuff, but he's great for like people, kids love him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He backed up the shit he talked during the game. Okay. Okay. He only 22. The boy ain't even scratched the surface yet. Mm. He just okay. out here hooping. Like, okay. will we just go to the gym? Ja, he's the same way. He just mm. got in trouble. Okay. You know what I'm saying? When he get back, it's going to be the same thing. Yeah, don't kids give him, don't kids give him no, really no. love Ja. Yeah. But I said, this is Mike-esque from Ant-Man. Not saying, like, he's Mike. I don't want to compare nobody to yeah. Not even Kobe. Can't, 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 can't yeah. I don't compare nobody to Mike. But he's Mike-esque. He's okay. 88 Mike right now, though. That's real talk. Okay. Okay. Ja is 97 Allen Iverson. 
real shit. Okay, but, but, okay, but, okay. Real, but more athletic, and people don't like long arms, six two. He a little bit taller than than Chuck, but he play like that. Okay, relentless. Okay. You know what I'm, I'm saying? A, I'm Both let, of them. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let you. Be, I'm gonna keep Ja name alive in it because Ja is a problem. Yeah, Ja. Yeah. He just got it when all his yeah. injuries and he get everything right. That's he's that. Yeah. Wimby is gonna be something nobody's ever seen. Yeah, that's gonna be up. different. Yeah. That's totally different. Right I'm there. excited for the future of the league. Everybody talking about the face of the well, NBA. I thought I thought I thought Zion bounced back this year a lot. Too. Zion did. Well, he gonna be one of them guys. It's yeah. gonna be. It's not gonna be a problem. Who gonna be like mm -hmm. health wise? That thing be straight. But it's if everybody stays healthy. I'm not. That everybody like. The talent of the league. I'm like Jason Tatum's still around, bro. Mm -hmm. Devin Booker's still around. Mm -hmm. The older guys are still around for mm -hmm. a while. Steph and Katie gonna be around. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, Bron on his way out, but he's still mm -hmm. here. But I'm like, after those guys, I ain't worried about the future of the league. I think Bron gonna be playing till he's 80, man. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see it. I'm enjoying the greatness. Pause. <laughs> need, if need be. <laughs> Real shit. Real. Oh man. All right, so let's get to this beef, man. What's up, man? Yeah, everybody mm. on this K dot, this K dot Drake beef. Um, I was in Miami all week and I had no time to relax because I kept hearing songs popping back and forth, back and forth. What's your opinion on the beef? Who you got winning? I'll tell you who I got winning. I'll tell you why, but I'm going to let you go first and uh, let me know how you feel about that. First of all, bro, you was in Miami. It ain't had nothing to do with. I was just chilling. Nah, I know you was in Miami having a great time, bro. Mm -hmm. Felt left out. That's all right, though. Ah. <laughs> nah. Ah. Nah, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It's crazy. I got, I mean, Drake, uh, I'm gonna be real about the whole thing, bro. Mm. Cause I, I, Kendra dropped last night. No, Drake dropped last night. Kendra dropped the night before. Drake put something else? Yeah, it's called hard, even, hard, harder, 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 harder to six or whatever. Yeah. Okay, I he ain't dressed heard everything. That. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, he, he dressed so everything. So Kendra dropped the other night. Paul yeah, said, he, he dropped that was, the uh, the that dance was joint. The yeah, that was joint. dope. He sound, it was it was like some real like he should have did this from the beginning. Like la the the last one Kendra dropped was like yeah Compton. Yeah, yeah. This should have been there the whole time, bro. Yeah. I don't want to hear this ventriloquist shit. Like we don't know what happened. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. He like, yo, such and such, woody whoop. And you know what I'm talking about, but I ain't gonna say it. Bro, this is battle time. Like, I yo. wanna hear. If something happened with somebody and something this and woody whoop, yeah. then say that. Yeah. You know, Drake is like, Drake not gonna do that. You nah, know what Drake I'm gonna go right in. Yeah. But the last one Kendra did, he was really talking. He got yeah. specific. The beat was right. Yeah. I got this to the last one that Drake did. But yeah, I, Drake, Drake, I had Drake yeah. up. I, had, I love yeah, Kendrick. Yeah, I don't. I don't, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna be real with you. I would be real with you, man. First, I'm gonna tell you something. One thing I experienced during this whole process. I didn't know Kendrick fans were like Stans, where they will attack you and tell you they have a nerve to tell a person like me. I don't. I don't listen close enough. I'm, I'm one of you know. I'm one of the most. I love hip hop. I listen to lyrics, beats, everything. I listen to the double entendres or whatever. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm still mad at J Cole for bowing out. And I'm I understand, understand, I understand why kind of now because this this has gone left, but J Cole I think would have cooked, would have cooked. Number one, number two, I do not get Kendrick's flow. I don't get the lyrics sometimes. It sounds like he's not even rhyming sometimes. And and to me, I'm be honest with it. I'm not trying to be a hater. And I know, I know the Kendrick fans are gonna tell me I don't know hip hop when I could probably recite more historical lyrics and verses than they probably will ever know in their, their freaking life, but it's fine. It's cool. You believe you you like what you like, right? Let me reference beefs. I'll, I'll, I'll give you Jay-Z and Nas, for an example. Yes. You had two gladiators cool, yeah. Let's go, go at it, but you didn't have to have a theosaurus or nobody had you tell you to go back and <laughs> listen to it or go back and do this because you knew what it was. It was a beef. When Jay said... You little fuck, I got money stacks taller than you. When you was pushing weight back in 88, I got the, you was a ballerina, I got the pictures of senior. Then you just dropped switch one, switch your demeanor. Uh, we don't believe you. You need more people. You know what I'm saying? Oh, when Nas said, and your take man stabbed un and made you take the, That's real take shit. Take the charge. You see what I'm saying? You, like, hey, yo, bro. I don't, <laughs> listen, I listen. I think Drake killed it. On, I think Drake push ups killed it. I think Family Matters was an oblivion. 
especially that second half of it. He just went in. And I'm not even a Drake fan because I feel he sings too much. He does all this, you know, yada, yada, yada. But when it's time to rap, Drake can fucking rap. And I want to say that. And I'm going to curse and say that. Drake can rap. And I do not get the Kendrick stuff. I don't want to have to go... And it might to, to y'all it might sound ignorant, but half y'all ain't even. I'm a computer science major. I got two degrees, and I don't even want to go back. When I listen to, I don't want to go back and listen. And first of all, when I hear him rhyme, I don't think he's not, he's not even rhyming half the time. So I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Everybody to, to everybody is their own. I, I will say I'm still mad J Cole for bowing out, but I get it. But I think I know Drake is up when it comes to spitting, and and and. Uh, that little dance thing was cool. Should they should probably should, probably, should, probably should let off with that. But like, I don't want to go in a club. I want to hear when, I, when I'm in a club or I'm in, when I was in Miami. I want to hear Family Matters, and I want to. But he's there's, there's still lyrics involved where he's killing it. I don't want to hear Euphoria. Yeah, I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna jump off a bridge and go find a fish if I hear Euphoria. I'm sorry. It's just. All you Kendrick stands, I know you're gonna hate me. You know you're gonna get mad at me. I know. I, 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 I gotta got talk my truth. It's my truth. It's how I feel. I don't care. It's real, it's, it's real. And um and um you know and I really don't I really don't care what you think because it's my opinion. And maybe you're gonna say I'm dumb. I don't know hip hop, which is which is BS. You know what I'm saying? Like like I wouldn't like, say that. I would never. You know I know my hip hop, but at the end of the day, you know they're gonna say that you didn't go deep enough. You don't listen deep enough. You're not smart. It's going over your head. Yes, it went over my head. It went way over my head. It went, it, went, it went into my tub, okay? And I don't want to hear that. I just don't. I'm sorry. I just, it doesn't do anything for me. I think it should be in the lane with Smoke Dizza and all these uh, 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 R&B, not R&B, but backpack rappers that, that, that like, I'm going to tell you right now, back in our era, you had to be an MC. You had to really spit. He can do that. He can I'm not see you. I look. He can spit. I'm not. But he's the big's not winning the battle. Bro. No, I'm not. Gonna, I'm not going. I'm not going. Um. I understand what you're saying, bro. Mm-hmm. But control was the thing. No, he was, got choice. No, no, look. Listen, he got choice. Control when he called all them, and that goes to A. S. A. P. Rocky and all, all that yeah. shit with them back then. Yeah. And Kendrick and Drake and Woody Woo. He was like, yeah, I'm telling y'all, I'm better than y'all, or I'm there. Right. Which is cool. But you think them boys ain't forget that 10 years? So as soon as he said that, nobody said nothing. Mm-hmm. All, um, Cole, Cole kind of kicked that shit off with it. Seven minutes. Big drill. three thing. Yeah, seven minutes. First, yeah, 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 yeah. first. But, first. but, but you know, that, that was, see, for all y'all who don't know hip hop or I don't know hip hop, you know what J. Cole was doing. He was referencing, because he was really rapper, showing love. Yeah, he was really showing love, but a rapper that, that did, the fir- did that the first time was Jay Z. Jay Z was not at that level. It was always Nas, Biggie, and it was Ray Kwan when he dropped the when he dropped the purple tape. And Jay Z on on, <laughs> on on Marcy on where, where I'm from. Marcy is from yeah. the song he put. Who's the best MCs? Biggie, Jay Z, and Nas. Jay did that first. All he did was reference. J Cole knew knows his history of hip hop. That's why he said Aubrey, Aubrey K Dot, and me. That's why that's what he was doing. And even if, if you look at J Cole's disc, I didn't he, expect that comeback pause from. Kendrick like that though. Which I one? didn't expect that shit. Like he was like when he came. Oh, the, the song. Big, it's the big me. Yeah. See, see it's that, question. But look, question. Oh, see, he, let me say, he made one verse. He had one. He had one line off that. Let me ask you a question. Was the beat hot or was that hot? Because that's not a big deal. The beat was crazy, but it's just I'm, no. It's just we no hadn't really deal. heard just Kendrick just say some shit that just blow everything off the map. Like why in a long time? What does it do? Because his music ain't like that. Like I'm mean, not in a bad way. Like not like his music ain't like like you gonna have a clip or some shit like mm-hmm. that. Like oh shit, Kendrick said this. Mm-hmm. You know you might hear that shit and it's like damn that resonate in life. Kids, I family. got you. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like his music is great. I love. Yeah. Keep on my no, his music is good. Yeah, great. But, but to like me. I just think when you compare him, like but when he said lyrics. that, when that shit, the beat went off. Fuck that big three, nigga. It's just big me. I was like, oh. Yeah. And then I had to re-listen to the song. He going that bro the whole song in yeah. that verse. But you know all he saying? had to, but, but, but I was but, like, damn. But the verse to me wasn't even all that. When he said it's the big me, I'm like, okay, it's just big me. I'm like, okay, fine. But, 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 but like it's like the way I guess some people heard it, it's like, 
Oh my God, he said it's just big me. That was, did you hear, did you hear the way he said it? But you gotta understand. I'm like, yo, what are we, what are we talking about? You said it's just big me. Look like, at, look at like, the, gen what are we talking about? Look, look at the generation we in now. Yeah, well that's the point. That's when the point. Hove and Nas was talking about, when I heard Hove say, let the condom on the baby seat. That was Hove. Oh, After oh, eating. Oh, oh. See what I'm saying? You see how that make you feel? They not doing that. They not doing. No, they come on, bro. No, Drake is doing that. Drake saying shit. Drake they talking that. about family and kids, but they yeah. not saying left the condom on the baby. No, see, yeah, that's last nuts. Week, Drake was talking about. How come on, bro. Drake was talking about how his, his son is, is with his best friend. Drake, yeah, Drake going low, son. Drake with the day free, son. It's Nobody different. Nobody said anything about somebody Condoms leaving a condom on, on your baby mama's your kid baby seat. That's horrible. This is yeah. not like hit him yeah. up, Biggie, who yeah. shot you? Yeah. You know Pop, what I'm saying? Pop, Pop was disgusting. It's not the show. same. I stopped listening. I yeah, just hear it because somebody yeah. sent it to me. It's I didn't hear yo, Drake. That's another thing. Because Charlamagne was like, it's the best rap battle in history. I was like, I was like no, it's not. It's man. not. Stop. I Stop. listen to I listen Stop, to all man. of it. I'm like, Stop. I get it. Stop, man. But like, Stop, I gotta man. go to like Stop, the next man. morning, YouTube. Yeah. Some Stop. of these like Stop. YouTube guys. Stop. It's like, hey, uh, this is what he meant by that. I'm Wait, like, nigga, I ain't had yo, to do that. When, when Hit Him Up came out, I knew yo, exactly what he was talking exactly about. Back. It was no yo. internet, like no social media, Instagram. We just knew what he was saying. And not, yo, I don't want to hear when, like, when not, you go not, look it up. When not say All that you shy, boho, you, 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 you trying to kick knowledge? That's what somebody need to pull up. Yo, that's, what, that's what Drake did and said this whole time. You, you, you shit is garbage. You trying to kick knowledge? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, yo, this is, we're, we, we are not on that. We're talking about battle rap. Why there do is, I have to go to an encyclopedia and social oh media to know gosh, what y'all talking, talking about. about. That's crazy, man. I'm crazy. We're not in Hollywood or nothing, nah, bro. Man. What's going on? Make it to the point and make it Get a real... Get straight to it. Get straight to it, man. Squabble? What y'all gonna do? What you, Don't kill nobody. Your man try to teach your man squabble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they squabbling out there now. Teach Shout your man squabble. Shout out to J-Rome, nigga. J you know what I'm talking about? Yo, yeah, I just wanna... Real shit. Yeah, but you know, of course, we're probably gonna have some comments on this. They're gonna be like, yo, you didn't listen. It goes over your head and this and that. Well, you I ain't know got what? time for that. I ain't got time for I that. I wanna hear a regular song yeah. like that while Okay, Andre 3000, shout out to that. Shout, shout out to the shout stacks. Out to shout out to Outcast, Dungeon yeah. Family, shout out yeah. to Rico Wade. Rico Wade, yeah. Dungeon Family. If anything, I want to put if it anything up. this Love battle it. actually has embarrassed the black community because it's like. Here you go. Yo, you know what? At the end of the day, because you know, at the end of the day, we are, we actually are above this, but like we love a good rap battle, but where they took it, it's just, I just don't, I get it. It's the new culture, it's the new wave, the new people. And you know what? There was a time. When our parents were looking at us like, yo, I don't get y'all. Y'all wearing Jordans, y'all wearing we had we had bell bonds. We we was out partying, we was doing, we was, we was, we had the good they, they called their weed reefer. Reefer. They could well, I smoked that reefer. You know what I mean? So their era was different from reefer, ours. Dude. You know what I'm saying? And now we look at this generation, we like, eh. You know what I mean? Cause no, I it's some real shit though, bro. Oh, like, I'm like, um, you know, I I went back. And I was like, and I don't have a problem with the back and forth. I love hip hop. I love it. I love, I love, you, you know, we love yeah. that. I love it. Love That's it. what we talk about love, all the time. Love, love. But I had to go back and listen to like Kiss and Beans beat. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But like I had to go back and listen to. It's not playing, son. Well, I'm I forgot. Just saying, bro. I, didn't like, mention, I didn't mention. Yo, I forgot about that one, son. No, I, I literally posted it on, on my Instagram. I was like. Yo, y'all chill out, kick like kick back. I know everybody cool, you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't want to hear the ventriloquist shit. I want to yeah. hear Bean say something crazy. I want to hear when the hot 97, 7 o'clock. Only time I can hear that down here in Charlotte. Because they dropping the bombs. Yes. Flex was dropping Flex the bombs. Dropping on the dropping bombs. Bombs, we, got, we only got it at 7 o'clock down yeah. in Charlotte, North Carolina. Yeah, I mean, I mean one time, I bet one time I listened to Flex. It can was and on I, I thank God that they back friends. Don't get me wrong, because yeah, that yeah. was a dangerous time. Oh, yo, like what, people what, was gonna die. What what what, what, be, what, be, what be Siegel tell Charlamagne on the show? It's dangerous. Yeah, it it's was dangerous. Dangerous. Yo, yo, I remember what time? I never seen. I remember what time? Cam, Cam was I love on, Charlamagne. Yo, Cam was on uh, Hot 97. He was letting Jr. Ryder get his get his joint off, right? Yeah, Flex just started dropping bombs, but he just kept pressing the button. Your Cam was like, "Yo, why you doing that?" Yeah. Like my man Rob, so he just kept, he just kept dropping. Oh, Cam, <laughs> Cam Shout crazy, out to Killer, man. man. Shout out to Idiot, what it is. Man. <laughs> Shout out to Killer, man. Stab baby them over there. Yo, that's another beef. Yo, Jada Kiss and Beans beef was real, son. 
It was crazy, bro. Yeah, I remember all I'm trying home. to see is hawk the muscle. I don't ever want to meet you, and I don't want to talk with Russell. I'm getting home after basketball practice, headed back to the hood, me and my mama. But right. I'm like, mama got to hurry up because I got to put the tape in. Shout, shout out to Mother Angie. Mama, I love you, Mama Angie. We get in the crib, bro. I put the tape in so I can record. Mm -hmm. Right when we get in the house, I put it in the, the, the tape in there, record it. <clears throat> they had Pal 98, but they had like all everything going on with the rap beef. Right, right. And I was listening to Bean. I mean, I was listening to Kiss. Kiss, one of my favorite rappers ever. Shout out to Kiss, Jay the Kiss. And he went on there, he was like, at the end of the freestyle, he was like, you just a worker and your boss is my your man. Your boss is my man. I, I remember like, that joy. I remember that's that. That's crazy. Like, I'm thinking about Beans. Beans is Beans back then, bro. He putting shit down. Beans Hands, said, Beans got straps. On, Beans got on stage in Philadelphia. He was like, I'm thinking about yeah, making, yeah, yeah. Them <laughs> making them watch. I'm thinking about, <laughs> yo, shot, yo. Y'all yo, go yeah. do your research on yo, Jada Kiss and, yeah, Bean, and, and Beanie Siegel. Talk, talk about the best. Talking about some beef best. right now. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, stop listening to people talking about it's the best uh, a battle ever. It was, it, it's not. Th there was way more battles and, that were way better than that. And, 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 and y'all just misinformed. Y'all are really misinformed, but I got Drake up. Who you have up? I got Drake up, bro. I got. I ain't even listened to the last joint he yeah. dropped. The yeah, last one Kendrick dropped Drake was dropped. good, but that's like, another one. Yeah, I got yeah. Drake up because Drake is going to the. He like on that L.A. Yeah, he on. Yep. Not L.A., but he on it. You know what I'm saying? Nice. Kendrick. If I know what you're talking about, you up. I just need to know. <laughs> like, say, hey, this person did this. I was there. Yo, fuck him. Yo. I don't F that. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? Yo, like, yo, yo, go yo, yo. into no, it. This is this. To all the Kendrick fans out there, just send I love send, send us a, the a Theosaurus. Uh, uh, send, uh, <laughs> uh, I'll give you an address. Send me a Theosaurus and a dictionary. And uh, and uh, let me. I, I know the first word in the dictionary is aardvark. I think it was. But send me a dictionary and a, theos, a theosaurus so I can look all the rhymes and words up. And then, and then also include a, a, a minimum encyclopedia. And I'll figure it out. And give me give me at least two or three months so I can go back and I'll come back and, and I'll be like, oh, I get it. I get it. It was hot. It was hot. It was hot. Because I don't, I don't, want, I don't want to go over my head. We don't want to have the YouTube. What's going on? You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. You go straight into it. Just, just go to it, man. Just go to it, man. Shout like, out to Pop, man. I went, look, I, I told him, I said, look, I went straight to hit him up. And I hate First that because it hurt me. It they, hurt me. He, you know what I'm saying? It hurt me. That hurt me. Of course that it hurt did. my He's soul. New York. We love, we Pop guys down here. Ugh, all hurt of my us. soul, son. Except for the New York guy. Hurt my soul, son. First off, yep. and the click you claim for... You know what I'm talking about? West Side will be age. Hey. Claim to be a, when I, not, Pac was disrespectful. Look, you can't hurt my soul. Yeah, I went off right you can't hurt my soul. <laughs> you can't hurt my soul. <laughs> Pac can give a fuck. Boy, what? Yo, yo. All right, so, all right, so we both got we both got Drake on that. So before we close out, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I do wanna get on one thing. Um, I wanna say, um, when you hear me and, and, and hear and I say pause. Um, I want to touch on this, and you can bounce off me what you want. I, you pause. know, you got your own. I always say pause. I, I don't say no, Diddy. And the reason why I don't say no, Diddy, is because I feel like we as a people are quick to jump on somebody and try to tear them down um, without even knowing the full facts. And um, if I say no, Diddy, I'm, co I'm contributing to tearing down another black man who was built, took a lifetime to build what he has, regardless wrong or right. I don't know. It's, I don't know the facts or whatever. But I feel like we always jump on a phrase that looks at us and makes us look bad because we are still us. It's still us. And to, to jump out there and say no Diddy, but this, this is your people, this is your culture. People will never do that to Hugh Hefner. They would never do that to anybody else or people in, in that statue. These, these people have done a lot of things in their life. You know, and we, we're sitting here persecuting our own or quick to throw our own under the bus or under the dirt. So I'm not gonna say no, Diddy. I'm never, I'm never, I'm, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna uh, pr promote that. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a person of us, and I believe that we should not make ourselves look look like that in light. If it happened, it happened. But say, what, what, what is saying no, Diddy gonna really do? That, that that that's not that's not that's not making us no better. It's not it's not making him a better person. It's, it doesn't make us look better in the light, or in front of other people. You know and. 
I just feel like, you know, with us, they've mastered. We are so great of a people, but I feel like we're mastered to easily degradate ourselves off of media or whatever they portray. And we'll, we help ourselves and do ourselves in quicker than what they will do us in. Because we got a song, we got, we, we saying no ditty. We, we created no ditty. The media ain't do that. We created no, no ditty. They just, they just running with it now. Now it's a saying instead of saying pause. Like, what are we doing? Like, think about stuff. Like, even when my, my brother Moore was talking earlier about followers. Every time, every time you click that button, you're saying you're following somebody. Do you want to be a follower or a leader? Where's your mind stay at? What are you, what are you, what are you, what are you subscribing to? I just wanted to say that, you know, is a, you know, it was on my mind, man. Yeah. I wanted to get, I wanted to get that out, man. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I, I you think, know what I mean? Yeah, I agree with you, bro. But I, I think that a lot of, um, I don't think we created that. I think that's like, it's the algorithm. Like people create shit like that. So you, how many? You know, how many of the? the no, I'm not but, saying. But, but we use it though. No, we're gonna use it. We yeah, use that's it. wrong. So that's the that's wrong. That's making us followers, subscribers, everything to the bullshit. Yeah, but they, once they tap into the algorithm with us, then it turns into that. Let me ask you a question. I believe. I believe with you. That's are real they, shit. You are right? They, are they running around saying no Epstein? Right. Time, that's what every, I'm saying. No Epstein. No Epstein. No Epstein. No Epstein. No Epstein. Hey, you know no, no, uh, Gislaine, no Gislaine, no Gislaine, yeah, no Gislaine, yeah, 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 no, 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 no Gislaine. Like, come, come on, like we, we, we have to really like. We don't only do that shit to us. To be honest, we do it to us. That's what I'm saying. We do it to each other. We do it to we do it to us. We do it to us. Mm -hmm. We don't we don't like y'all got to get out of the. We gotta we gotta get out of it. And I'm gonna use this platform not to make it ultra. You know, um, um, I don't. I, I, I'm not trying to change the world. But I want people to think about things. Right, that's and, and and when we come on these platforms and talk talk about these issues or whatever, we challenge people to think. Think about yourself. Think about how you're portraying yourself or how you're moving or, or, or how your mentality is. You know what I mean? And that's why this platform is is, is here. And and that's why I'm glad to have you on here, brother. Um, but I just had to say that, man. I'm sorry. Like, I'm going I think I'm gonna start singing no Epstein. I'm gonna stop singing that or start what, what was the other dude? Uh uh the one that beat the case in New York, uh, I forgot his name. Um, um, the actor dude, um, he was an actor. Oh dude. yeah, he was on a uh, the House of Cards or something like that. Yeah. No, not John the Majors. <laughs> but, but, anyway, but anyway, like anyway, like um, no, just, I feel you, bro. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, look, think about things before you say them. Challenge, like, just really think about what you're saying. Because when you get in the room with certain people, and you 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 use phrases like that or you say that, they're gonna automatically judge you. They're gonna look at you. You know, and, and 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 my and I think our job, I, the reason why I know Ant, I know I know vice versa, is because we are people that walk people into rooms, and right. and we love doing it for our for our people. Right. You know what I'm saying? Sure. And, and we love building people people. You know, not everybody can walk in the rooms you walk in. I get that, but like you try to bring as much as you can, or the ones that you know that could be there, because you want to build. You want to build up. Um, I don't, I'm a type of person, I love money, I, I believe in making money or whatever, but money does not define me, it's not going to build me. I see a lot of people get older with nothing, that have had money their whole lives and just go, just die with nothing. But if I can give or, 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 give, or give knowledge or help somebody get to where they need to be, you know, that's more important because that feeds my soul and it feeds my legacy. So why am I going to sit here and tear another brother's legacy down and I don't know his business like that? That's what I'm on. I'm going to talk, my, I'm going to talk sometimes. I'm going to talk some shit. I'm going to say some funny stuff. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to lose fact of, I'm not going to lose the, 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 the point of view that I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an African-American male that wants other brothers to succeed and be even better than what, I've got, what I want to be. You know, fact, any, any person that you teach basketball to, same thing. I teach, I tell them, ain't nothing just strictly basketball with me. Mm -hmm. All this shit is like life. We just use it as a vehicle. I tell them, I'm like, look, the vehicle is the basketball. Yeah. It could take you in multiple different- Different directions. Destinations for you. Mm. Doctor, lawyer. It's a vessel. Yeah, it's, it's a, a vessel. vessel. Yeah. It's and vessel. I said I had to do that like that. I just happened to make it to, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And 
My mom talk to me about that shit all the time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, that's what it really is. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's but a vessel, it's a vessel, it's a it's vessel a, for you to get. It's a vehicle yeah. through the grace of God, bro. Mm -hmm. God give you a certain talent. It's like a Rolls Royce, nigga. Mm -hmm. You want to get in it or you not? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But the problem is the chauffeur, if he pulling you in that direction to mm -hmm. get in the Rolls mm -hmm. Royce, right? if you don't listen to him, then you over here with something else going on. That's how I really feel about it. My mom was the chauffeur to put me in there. She put me in the Billy truck. I, I think that's <laughs> what, I go think over I, here I, and move around. I think that's why we vibe because both I think both of our moms were very influ influential in our lives. I like can't wait mom, till they meet. My yeah. mom at the crib, right? Hey, yeah. Look, bro, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, that's the main thing. You have to have somebody that's going to guide you in the right direction. What we're gonna do is, in the episodes of the future, we're gonna have our moms on here. I can't. Oh Lord, I don't know. My mama go. I'm gonna have, no, to, I'm gonna have to trip going, my mama into coming over. I'm gonna bring. Yeah. I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring my mama up here. My, 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 my your mama, mama gonna come. My, 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 your mama, mama gonna come mama, up here. My mama come. My, my mama is the biggest advocate of. They me. gonna take the show. Yeah, yeah. She's it's a, cool. She's, me. A, I'm be she's the like, biggest advocate of me, man. I'm sitting she's like, my mama come up here and be sitting right there. My mama, my mama bring in though. Cause my mama can bring everybody in. My mom was there in Portugal talking about nah, she knows Spanish. My mom couldn't talk a lick of Spanish, man, but she brought it. Everybody was loving her. I'm mad. Like, she's not going to even. <laughs> but we'll, we'll figure it out. Oh, no, but, we'll but anyway, but we, Mommy, that's, 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 that's down to <laughs> But anyway, we want to thank you for, 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 for being on this, on this last episode. Well, not last episode, but this, this past episode that we've had. Um, uh, we took a little break. We're back popping. Uh, we got more coming. We got more in store. And we're going and we, and we to gonna, we gonna, we gonna blast off with great topics. And, and great guests. So we here. Let's go. Charlotte on the scene. It's a wrap. Big Charlotte. You did? Bang, bang.